Number 1. The floor of a railroad flat car is loaded with loose grates having a coefficient of static friction of 0.25 with the floor. If the train is initially moving at a speed of 48 km per hour, in how short a distance can the train be stopped at constant acceleration without causing the crates to slide over the floor? So let's, let's make some drawing first so we can understand the problem better. So let's say this is our train over here. The, actually it is the flat car. And let's draw one crate. One crate is enough. So we know that initially the train is moving to the right with a constant speed of 48 kilometers per hour and we want the train to stop and it takes some distance to the, to the train to stop so let's say that the distance is equal to delta x so we know from Newton's second law that if we change the speed of the car we need some acceleration so in order to the train to stop we need some acceleration let's draw the acceleration over here so if we want the shortest distance for the train to stop we want the maximum acceleration we want the acceleration to be as, be as high as we as it could be so we want delta x to be minimum and we want the acceleration to be maximum so that's what we want however if the acceleration is too high what's going to happen is that the crates are going to slide so the crates are going to slide let's say if the train stops over here the, the, the crates are going to slide to the right and we don't want the crates to slide so we have to find the maximum acceleration that the crates will not uh, slide over the floor so how can we do that so let's remember that we need the maximum acceleration so we need the maximum force that can be applied to the crate and the maximum force that can be applied to the crate in this case over here is the maximum value of the friction force so it is the maximum maximum value of the friction force the static friction force and it can be calculated by mu s times the normal force so this equation over here we can use to calculate the maximum force that can be applied to the crate and let's remember from Newton's second law that force is equal mass times acceleration so we can replace this friction force with mass times acceleration so mass times acceleration is equal to mu, mu s times the normal force so since this is the maximum friction force this acceleration over here would be the maximum acceleration so we can use this equation to calculate the maximum acceleration and then we can calculate the minimum delta x okay let's, let's just isolate the maximum acceleration so it's going to be mu s times the normal force divided by the mass let's remember that the normal force in this case can be calculated by mass times gravity so the maximum acceleration would be equal to mu s times m times g over m so we can cross out the masses so the maximum acceleration it's equal to mu s times g so that's the maximum acceleration that we can have so since the acceleration is constant in this case we can use this equation over here the v squared equal to v o squared plus 2 times a delta x okay so we can use this equation to calculate delta x which is what we need in this problem over here so the final speed is equal to zero so this goes to zero because we want the train to stop so zero is equal to v o squared plus two times a delta x so since the initial speed and the acceleration are going to different directions we have to to assign a minus sign to let's say to the acceleration over here so the initial speed is 48 kilometers per hour but we have to convert it to meters per second 
so the initial speed is equal to 13 meters per second just divided by 3.6 so 48 divided by 3.6 is equal to 13 meters per second the acceleration over here is equal to minus mu s times g which is equal to minus 0 0.25 times 10 so let's say it's 10 or 9.8 you can choose and then we can just isolate delta x so delta x is equal to minus vo squared divided by 2 times a which is equal to minus 13 squared divided by minus 2 times 0 0.25 times 10 and this will be equal to roughly, let's see, 36 meters. Maybe you have a different value over here. Uh, I think this value is using 9.8, but you can do it by yourself. And that's it.